Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another haul video. This haul is from a website called Temu, T-E-M-U, and I've not hauled from them before, but I've got a nice big package of things to share with you. This is primarily dice for D&D &D and also some micro bricks, kind of knockoff Lego, if you will. So let, it, let us tip this stuff out. Whoop. So there's quite a lot here. I'm going to scoot it out of the way slightly. So as I say, most of this is dice, but I'm going to share with you the bits that aren't dice first. So I saw these Pokemon micro brick sets and they were £1.70, I want to say. They had loads and loads of different Pokemon. I originally saw the Charmander and absolutely loved it. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going to pick that one up. And you can't get Charmander without leaving out Bulbasaur and Squirtle. So they were the first three I looked at. And then Lapras was my favourite Pokemon for a really long time. Whenever I played any sort of Pokemon game, that was the Pokemon I would hunt and hunt and hunt for. So I picked up these three. And as I say, they were about pound seventy per Pokemon thing. And then you get within the package, I'm not sure if it'll show you the image, but you get the bricks to make the Pokemon and the stand. And then you get the bricks to make a little Pokeball as well. Now, I haven't opened any of the package yet, but they did come quite crushed. So then these are the instructions. You just get like a leaflet and it gives you kind of layer by layer what you need to do. And these are the bricks themselves. So the they, they're called micro bricks and they really are tiny. Like these would be good. They say age nine plus, and I would agree with that because anyone younger potentially these pieces are just that little bit too small both in terms of them using them and actually physically using them with their fine motor skills so yeah so I haven't actually torn any of the packets open I imagine they're going to make quite small little figures um, but I'm quite happy to share them with you once I have made them if you're interested so I picked those up whilst I made an order with um, Timu you have to spend £10 to place an order but it's very very easy to do that and um, the first set or the first set that I picked up was this set here because I just absolutely loved the colour of it. So I'm going to open this up. So some of these I've looked at slightly. Um, so these are like a jade green. They've got a glitter effect in them. I'm not sure how well it's showing up on camera because I can't see the top of my screen. But I think you can pick up the glitter flex in it it's got gold lettering and I am tempted to get another set of these these were £1.28 I am tempted to get another set of these at some point and try to re-ink them with white letters because I think that would be really really beautiful and it'll be quite similar to the Chessex Borealis dice I think but I really really liked the effect of these and the colour is just stunning and they have a very satisfying dice noise um, so those are the first set of dice that I picked up and I do think the camera is making them darker than they are in real life they are actually a really really pale colour it's been ages since I filmed up in this room I've got a couple of lights on and it is still daylight but I don't think the lights are doing it justice to be honest so that set is for me then for £1.09 pence, they had these sets so I haven't opened these yet these ones are kind of like a white with a glitter in them. So this is kind of like a pinky glitter inside. And as you can see, it's a slightly different font. So this is kind of your standard number font on most dice that you get. Whereas this one is really unusual. It's a really beautiful kind of font on here. And that glitter, I think it's showing up really nicely on camera glitter is stunning and for just over a pound i can't believe how cheap these dice were they're really really smooth they feel nice they're slightly slightly lighter than the teal ones but not necessarily in a bad way they've got a good sound to them and this was the color that i particularly liked this kind of teal green but there were six different colorways so i did decide to get all six so that is kind of the teal color then they had white and green. Oh, can't open it. Oop. So same colour as the main dice, 
but the letters on these ones are like a light green but the shimmer is just as beautiful so that was the second set then they had a blue set this um, and this is definitely a dupe for a Chessex set that you can buy at the moment. Ice Borealis, I think they're called. I haven't bought any Chessex dice. I've just seen a few videos where people have mentioned them. So this is... That's my elbow on the table, by the way. Um, these ones have got like a darker blue. This is the kind of blue that we've got in our front room at the minute. I thought that was really, really beautiful. Then they had red. So I'll open up the red ones. Hope you don't mind the crinkling noise some people like it some people loathe it uh, i think this shows up the pink in the glitter far more just because the colors of the lettering i'm not sure how well my phone just doesn't like to focus too close but hopefully you can see that quite nicely so that's the red set then they had a pink set it's the same dice again oh, oh. I feel like I'm not strong when I get to do that. I got a little weakling. So those are the white and pink dice. Absolutely stunning. Really like those. I don't have a character that these would suit yet, but I want to create a few characters before our next kind of campaign to see which one I'd want to do. And then the final set of these have gold letters. And it wasn't until after I'd ordered them. My friend actually ordered these as well. I think he ordered this colour. And I want to say the red, but I can't remember exactly. But he's ordered a couple of these. And I think gold was one of the ones he'd ordered. Because he said, don't these look like Harry Potter? And then actually, having opened them, I can kind of see why he said that. Kind of gold of the Harry Potter letter in. In the dice format. So again, with that sort of pink shimmery glitter absolutely beautiful dice so picked up those six sets as i say for one pound nine pence a packet then i picked up some dice for my friends so one of my friends martin who i play with bought myself and a couple of the other players some dice for our birthdays and they came in like a mystery bag so you didn't know what you were getting you just opened the bag and it was a surprise and i really liked the idea of that of getting each other dice on our birthdays but i actually decided to hand choose hand choose hand pick to choose the dice that i got for my friends i'm just gonna move those out of the way a little bit so the first set i've got to share with you are for my friend aaron and he his birthday is coming up in a couple of weeks so he'll actually get his on time but he plays a fire druid so i wanted some dice that looked like i've got it upside down that looked like flames and I ended up setting in on this set. Now, these were the most expensive dice from the haul. These were, I want to say, nearly £15. And each one's come in a little bag, so we will open them up. But these are red resin dice, so they're quite light. They are sharp edge dice. And they're red and black with kind of gold um, flakes inside, like quite large pieces of glitter. And I thought that they looked like fire. So that's the D20. And then I'm just going to open up the other packets so we can have a look at them together. So that's the D12. That one's even lighter. Well, the 12 itself is not inked very well, but the dice is quite pretty. Let me keep these little bags inside that box so I know what bags went to what set. So we've got the percentile dice. Now, these are much pointier than kind of percentile dices that I've had before. If I just show you a size comparison between these two sets, and obviously these are slightly more rounded, whereas these are the sharp edge, so they're incredibly pointy on the end. And I did hear somebody on their channel say the other day that the sharp edge dice are fairer because obviously the um the softer edge dice can roll further. So that is the D10, again far pointier than usual. Then we've got the D8 in this one. Then we've got the D6 here. Oh, that side's particularly glittery in comparison to some of the others. That six side is really glittery. 
and the one is probably the least glittery so i suppose that works in terms of value of what you can roll and then the d4 which is very very sharp on the corners so that is that set of dice and they are really really pretty i'm a little bit frustrated with how the camera's picking these up because they are definitely a brighter red in person than i feel like you can see on the camera but they are absolutely stunning so hopefully he likes those Oops. so as i say those are for my friend aaron then i got for the dm the dungeon master his birthday was in april so i'm well late now but because i started i thought well i'll do all the ones from this calendar year so he is the DM, so it's my friend John. He has created this whole campaign. He's written all of our storyline based on a previous on based around the Shrine of Savras. And part of that is to do with mind flares. So I found these dice, these are metal dice, and it says octopus, but to me they're a mind flare. They're hollow metal dice in this sort of dark grey. The numbers are gold. But I'm not sure how amazingly you'll pick this up. But each face looks to me like a mind flare. And as I say, they say octopus. I'm going to get the D6 out in a minute. Because I felt like you could see it on that dice. I'm hoping you'll see it a bit better. Now, the quality of these are not that great. Mostly because I feel like the inking on the numbers is not very clear. But yeah, I think you can see on that one. To me, it looks like a mind flare rather than an octopus. So I'm hoping he'll he'll appreciate that and he'll see the same. So I'm going to do the same as the other ones. There's the D4, there's the D20. Then we've got the D10 here. So these are quite unusually shaped. It's where they've got the kind of pointier ends, but the hollow bit goes, sort of sh stops just short. It's me think of a carousel a bit in a way, um, but the bag they sent them in is slightly broken so I'll probably have to rehome them anyway I will wrap these back up so the lads have the pleasure of unwrapping them oh no look at the state of that one. Oh well no I'm gonna have to complain and get my money back I hadn't opened all of these good job I saw this before I gave this to my friend look at the state of that I'm not sure how well you can see that but there's basically just no gilding on this at all and it's not dirt it's just not been painted oh that's such a shame oh the disappointment is real um there's the d4 this is the percentile there's the 10 and then this is the eight. Oh, i'm very disappointed the rest are fine in terms of the metallic. I mean, painting itself is quite sloppy, to be honest. And I'm getting a little bit fed up with it not um, focusing. Let me see if I can get it to focus a bit better. So the paint job is a bit poor. But I mean, seriously, this is awful. So I'm definitely going to have to take some pictures and in a bit of a complaint on that one but these are as i say metal dice so you get more of a jingle jangle with these so it would have been a really cool set <laughs> um, but alas what can you do um and then the next set i'll show you moving swiftly on the next set i'm going to share with you are for my friend pete he is the one who recommended this website he'd already bought some dice from it now a guy that used to be a part of our campaign at Christmas time bought us all a set of dice and they came in these glass bottles. And for most of us, the glass bottle was really personalised to us or our character. But for Pete, I don't know. They're nice dice, but they don't really seem to link to his character in any way. So he's always been a bit like, but why these? So I thought I've really got, I really need to get him a really nice set of dice. So he plays quite a flamboyant bard. His favourite colour is pink. Now, I couldn't get these in pink, but I did get them in purple. I've got him the um, liquid core dice. So they are resin dice. I need to take that off. Let's focus. These are resin dice. They're sharp edge dice in this lilac colour. But inside is a liquid core with glitter in. If you shake it, 
then the glitter moves about inside the dice and they're absolutely beautiful so let's just pop these out of their bags as well I better check over them make sure everything's all right before i give people a gift that's a dud and um, there's the d6 i will show you these kind of shaken up in a second then we've got the percentile the eight then the 10, and that one, the 12, which is smaller than the 20. Sometimes you end up with 12s that are larger than the 20, and I'm not terribly keen. And then the D4, most D4s look like this. They're a little triangle, and that's what you roll. But this one is slightly different because it's got a kind of... It's a different shape, basically. But that's what they look like. Oops. There goes the 10. That's what they look like. I'm not sure if I've got the, the focus okay. As I say, you give them a good shake. Lovely noise. And then you should be seeing the glitter swirling in each of the dice. So it's just an absolutely beautiful effect. Some of them take a little bit more oomph to get going than others but I suppose once you start rolling them then they'll be fine but I just thought they're absolutely stunning and they're so stunning in fact that I decided to treat myself to a set but I didn't get them in purple I would have liked a really nice emerald green they didn't have that they had a really light green and I wasn't really keen so I actually picked up a blue set for me these were from a different seller and this set just happened to come in a case so they're exactly the same type of dice as that one, but this time they've got silver numbers and the glitter inside is light blue. So that's what that one looks like. So there's the 20, then we've got the 12, the percentile, the 4, the 6, the 10 and the 8. So this one has got quite pointy dice similar to this resin set here they're a very similar size but they're definitely different to these more acrylic dice and this one also has that funky kind of four-sided dice there so give those a good shake in my hand beautiful noise and then that is those ones i find i feel like for some reason the six doesn't the glitter doesn't move as much and either the sixes oh now it is now it's moving beautifully so yeah just really like those they're a bit of a gimmick i'm not sure how balanced they are but i think they're absolutely stunning so that is my set of blue ones and that is all of my dice so i do have some other dice that are mine that i've already been using for the campaign and i'm going to do a video coming up because i've just bought some storage containers and i'm going to organize my dice and just share my limited collection with you there's one other item here which did come from Team U, but I didn't buy them, my mum did. I just wanted to share them with you because you might be interested. She got these little handmade with love, little faux leather type labels that you stitch into your products. So there was two of each colour, she's given me one of each colour in this little bag. So I've got some cute colours, blues, peaches, so like a lilac-y colour. So they're really quite sweet. So if you wanted to stitch them onto a project, then you could. I don't know what she paid for those. In terms of the prices of the dice, obviously I've told you about the plastic ones. The red ones were just under £15. These ones were £11, I want to say. These were cheaper. These were about £9, which considering you got the case as well, I thought that was really good. These ones, oh, 12 or £13, I want to say. Um, but those ones are i am least impressed with just because of the quality of them i feel like everything else the quality is absolutely fine but those ones are a bit shoddy so potentially might get try and get my money back and get him something different or see if he still wants these sets they might just replace the 12 or something who knows but yeah just wanted to share with you that little team you haul I hope you enjoyed having a little look at my dice and if you are interested in the dice then as i say there's going to be a video coming up where I share a little bit more about my dice and how I'm going to store them and a bit more about my D&D stuff for the very few people that are interested in that. Um, but for now, I'm just going to stare and play with my little click-clack rocks. 
hope you're all well and i'll see you in my next video lots of love bye